This is New Patreon series number 70B. We're discussing the James ossuary, uh, whether it is from a family tomb of Yeshua. So let's look at the James ossuary. Uh, it was not discovered in situ, that is where it would have been put within the Talpiot family tomb, which was a secure archeological context but rather obtained through the antiquities trade, trade in the year 2007. There is no firm evidence that it is the missing 10th ossuary from that site. An Aramaic inscription in the Hebrew alphabet, meaning James or Jacob, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus, is cut into one side of the box. I'm showing you what it looks like up above. Here are letters with the transcription. So you can see uh, that it's in Hebrew and uh, uh, it's been Romanized as uh, Yaakov Bar Yosef Akol de Yeshua, uh, translated as Yaakov, son of Yosef, brother of Yeshua. The ossuary attracted scholarly attention due to its possible association with the Christian Holy Family. And expert witnesses have confirmed this, the, the inscription in its totality was inscribed with the same hand in the first century. So let's take a look at the controversy. The existence of the Goshuary was announced at an October 21st, 2002 Washington press conference co-hosted by the Discovery Channel and the Biblical Archaeology Society. The James Ossuary came from the Silwan area in the Kidron Valley, southeast of the Temple Mount. The bones originally inside the ossuary have been discarded, which is the case in nearly all ossuaries not discovered by archaeologists. The first century origin of the ossuary is not in question, since the only time Jews buried in that fashion was from approximately 20 BC to the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD. The dispute centers on the date of origin of the inscription. The owner of the ossuary is Oded Golan, an Israeli engineer and antiquity collector. <clears throat> the initial translation of the inscription was done by Andre Lemaire, a Semitic epigrapher whose article claiming that an ossuary and an inscription were authentic was published in the November-December 2002 Biblical Archaeological Review, which I subscribe to. In the year 2003, the Israel Antiquities uh, Authority, the IAA, argued that the inscriptions were forged at a much later date. In December 2004, Oded Golan was charged with 44 counts of forgery, fraud, and deception, including forgery of the ossuary inscription. The trial lasted seven years before Judge Eharon Farkash came to a verdict. On March 14, 2012, Golan was acquitted of the forgery charges but convicted of illegal trading in antiquities. Now, biblical archaeologists disagreed from the very start. On June 18, 2003, the Israeli Antiquities Authority published a report concluding that the inscription is a modern forgery based on their analysis of the patina, which is the, the um, um, oxidized covering that uh, covers the inscription. Specifically, it claimed that the inscription was added in modern times and made to look old by addition of a chalk solution. But just before the James Ossuary trial, Bibli, Bibli, Biblical Archaeology Review editor Herschel Shanks delivered a public lecture at the Bible Lands Museum in Jerusalem explaining why the Israel Antiquities Authority had failed to make a convincing case of the James Ossuary inscription, reading James, son of Joseph, brother Jesus, is a forgery. In 2006, Wolfgang Elizabeth Crumbine, 
a world-renowned expert in stone patinas, called by the Defense Council, analyzed the ossuary and concluded that, quote, the inscription is ancient. In 2007, Finnish theologian Mati Malikowski, uh, or Arto Mati Thomas Malikowski, summarized the current position thus, the authenticity and significance of the ossuary has been defended by Shanks in 2003, while some scholars relying on convincing evidence, to say the least, strongly suspect it is modern forgery. <coughs> In 2008, an archaeometric analysis conducted by Amnon Rosenfeld, uh, Howard Randall Feldman, and Wolfgang Elizabeth Crombine strengthened the authenticity contention of the ossuary. It found that patina on the ossuary matched uh, surface matched that in the engravings at the, and the microfossils in the inspection seemed naturally deposited. And on June 13th, uh, 2012, a Biblical Archaeology Review press release announced the first major post-trial analysis of the ossuary, discussing the plausibility of its authenticity and using statistical analysis of ancient names to suggest that in contemporary Jerusalem, there would be 1.71 people named James of the father Joseph and a brother named Jesus reinforcing its original publication. Here's the cover of Biblical Archaeology with that article that I have put up. Now the significance of the James Ossuary uh, should be discussed here. The apologetic and historical implications following from this ossuary are far-reaching since it informs us that one, James, Joseph, and Jesus have historical collaboration as individuals and a family in the first century. <laughs> Two, early Christians like James may have been buried according to Jewish custom. <laughs> Aramaic was used by early Christians and that early Christianity emerged from Jewish roots, making it extremely difficult to divorce Christianity from its Jewishness. Most objective scholars, including me, would consider James to be the brother of Jesus through Joseph and Mary, as the inscription says. <clears throat> but the Roman Catholic Church and Eastern Orthodoxy believe that Mary remained a perpetual virgin. Uh, that's the wife of Joseph, the mother of Jesus. Roman Catholics consider James and the other brothers and sisters of Jesus and the Gospels to be cousins of Jesus through the supposed brother of Joseph. The Eastern Church believes that James and the other siblings were stepbrothers and stepsisters of Jesus, born to Joseph from a former wife. That is why there have been many attacks on the authenticity of the James Ossuary by Catholic and Orthodox apologists. My conclusion from the evidence that has been gathered is that the James Ossuary is probably authentic and is the 10th ossuary missing from Talpiad, which seems to have been the Jesus family uh, tomb. All the evidence can be found listed here in this reverence, uh, reference. Uh, go to this uh, reference uh, at calvarychapel.com and there's a post about the James Ossuary, the earliest witness to Jesus and his family, that's well worth reading. 